20, 20. That's how many museums and galleries there are here in Washington, D.C. at the Smithsonian Complex. That's a lot of ground to cover, but today I'm gonna to take you to my favorite. This is the National Museum of American History. I'm Todd Newton, the Tattooed Traveler, and here we go. The museum is three stories packed with exhibits that are ever-changing, and they all display our nation's history in areas of social, scientific, military history, political history, and this is the history of Silicon Valley, one of the first computers developed by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. This is the first mouse. Can you imagine having this hooked up to your laptop, <laughs> having to maneuver through social media using this thing? And of course, the former DJ in me just loves this. That's right, it's the Tattooed Traveler on the wheels of steel, baby. Showing the history of street DJs and nightclub DJs. This is an old mixing board. And what really got me here was the headphones, the Cost Pro 4 AA's. I have those very headphones in my home office. And if we zoom down here, we can see this classic Techniques turntable. Man, that's worth some money these days. You know who needed her shot on the turntables too, huh? Shifting now from music to movies, a little Hollywood history for you here. We've all seen The Wizard of Oz, right? Well, you remember how in the film, Dorothy's journey from Kansas to the land of Oz was symbolized by the film going from black and white to Technicolor. Well, this camera that's on display here at the museum was one of a handful used to film the Oz scenes. That big box around the lens was called a blimp and it muffled the machine's sound during filming. Technicolor was invented in 1932. Remember these things? Commercials. Before DVR, we had to sit through anywhere from 18 to 22 minutes of these for every one hour program we watched. Being here is like jumping in a time machine. I used to have a phone like that and it cost like $3.99 a minute just to make a call. Sony Walkman played cassettes before you could have every song known to man in your phone. Game Boy, greatest Christmas gift I ever received. What else do we have? A Palm Pilot, <laughs> Daily Calendar. Look at that, Blackberry. Nobody uses those anymore. And a 35 millimeter camera for get film, no more. And I don't think you can talk about inventions of any kind without mentioning Thomas Edison, the inventor of the light bulb, the phonograph, and this thing. This was the first talking doll. And even Edison referred to this as the little monster because the voice that came out of that speaker in the chest was creepy to even him. Here's another inventor, Ruth Handler, who created the Barbie doll. And she got the idea after watching her daughter play with paper dolls. And it says here, thanks to television, Barbie became the world's best-selling toy ever. The first Barbie, look at that. She's come a long way. You know, few names are more synonymous with American history than Thomas Jefferson. And this was his desk. He designed it himself. And it was on this desk that Jefferson wrote the first draft of the Declaration of Independence. Wow. And speaking of our nation's forefathers, George Washington, this was his personal trunk in which he carried his private papers. Boy, it looks like he racked up some miles with this thing, doesn't it? Very cool. Both men wore wigs like this, which were made from goat and horse hair, and they would smell terrible because you couldn't wash them. So they would powder the wig to try to make them a little more bearable. Great history here at the Smithsonian. This is the top hat that President Abraham Lincoln was wearing the night he was assassinated at the Ford Theater. The very hat that was on April 14th, 1865. This chair sat by George Washington's bed for years. It's been reupholstered, but that's the actual chair. 
It's fascinating to think that he would sit there and begin his day pondering the challenges facing a new country. These chaps belong to Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> you go, Teddy. He was thinner than I thought. And these golf clubs belonged to Dwight D. Eisenhower. Ike loved his golf, it looks like. And here's the chair that John F. Kennedy sat in during the first televised presidential debate. That was against Richard Nixon, of course. And the country loved Kennedy. They say behind every great man is a great woman. Here you see Jackie O's pearls from the 1961 inauguration and that beautiful gown that she wore that night. Another of our country's beloved first ladies, Nancy Reagan. This is a very recognizable outfit of hers. Here's the gown Michelle Obama wore to President Barack Obama's inauguration. And right next to that, Melania Trump's gown from the 2017 inauguration of President Trump. Interesting to see the different styles of all the different first ladies. Now, before I take you to lunch, and no, we're not eating here, I wanted to show you Bon Appetit, the Julia Child exhibit. Julia Child was a television personality, a chef that the American public just fell in love with. And this was her kitchen from her home in Cambridge, Massachusetts. She donated it to the Smithsonian. That was her kitchen table, all of her appliances and pans. That was her oven, her refrigerator, just as it was in her home. Now, there are a lot of heavy hitters here in the nation's capital. And while in D.C., my wife and I wanted to dine where the movers and shakers dine. So everyone said, Todd, you must go to the Lafayette, located in the Hay Adams Hotel directly across from the White House. The Lafayette is sophisticated dining at its finest. And I thought for sure I would slop something on the front of my shirt at a place like this, but I had to go for it because the soup of the day, butternut squash. Look at that. Our waiter recommended we follow that up with the crispy scallop sushi and it was even more perfect than it looks. A day full of culture and a belly full of good food here at the Lafayette inside the Hay Adams. Gorgeous day, appreciate you being along for it. Make sure you like this video and go ahead and subscribe to the channel, won't you? Become a part of the family. And join us over on Patreon if you want some exclusive content. I'm Todd Newton, the Tattooed Traveler. We'll see you a little further on down the road. Until then, travel safely.